No, are you serious? Five minutes to take over Route 1. Yeah. That's nuts. Yeah, that is. I, and I did it. I ran all the way and I just made it. Oh, man. Yeah, that was what, what, what Route 1 were you doing? Bone ass, right? I don't know what route I came off of. All I know is I came out of the garage and put in my running door away and he said you guys like five minutes to get downtown. That must have been frazzling for... Oh, with a backpack? Yeah, it was. Thanks. Yeah, very good. How, though? Five minutes to take over a Route 1. Jeez. Yeah, yeah. I know, I couldn't believe it. Were you going to bonus on that one for me? Oh, I guess I was actually. You're right, it was going it was going west when it pulled in, that's right. Bonus then didn't you go to Force Lawn again? Yeah, sure did. How many trips did you do that night? Uh let's see. Well I probably did only about two and a half trips because I believe that was a two hour or a two and a half hour, hour back round trip. Yeah, it was like two and a half hours full round trip. Even now, right? Oh, yeah, even now, yeah. It's not changed. That's right. If I only take one, I only take it downtown. Yeah, that's it. Does it go to any other C trains except downtown or no? Just downtown. Uh, it goes to City Hall, I know that. Right, I don't think it goes up to the Foothills Hospital anymore. Oh, did it? Oh yeah, sure did. At one time, yeah, you turned around there, went up to the Foothills Hospital, and there was a, not really a loop, there was a place you could turn around there and come back down the hill. So you went down there, yeah. Oh yeah, all the time. How come they changed it, I wonder? I don't know. In fact, I don't even know. Maybe it still goes up there. I don't know. Not a lot's changed with it. No. No bonus loop. Oh, um. Oh, tens changed a lot, though. Yeah. Did you know in bonus there's a place you can go for ice cream? Uh. It's before you. where the bus turns left to go down to the bonus loop. There's an ice cream place there. Very popular. At the, at the bonus park, yeah. That's right, yeah. Yeah, I, I, um, let me tell you something. We're not, we're supposed to do this because, like, at Between Friends, that's the thing that runs my camp. We have a policy there. It's like, you're only uh, uh, not to do that because it's not fair to the other campers. Yeah. But we saw the ice cream. And, and the counselor broke a rule. We snuck down and got one without anyone knowing. Oh, wow. It was 32 degrees that day, though. Oh, okay. And he's like, don't tell anyone we did this. We did it, and ma'am, was it good. Yeah. I think I can get a uh, licorice milkshake there. I think I have before. And they have it outside, right? Right at Bonus Park. You can sit in the shade. Uh, not the one I'm thinking of. That's not right at Bonus Park, yeah. no. But there is one inside Bonus Park. Oh, you, okay. You can oh, get... that's right. Yeah, there is. I've been to that one. Yeah, it, their ice cream is awesome. Yeah, that's... They don't have the variety there, though, that this one has. It's on the corner of uh, Bonus Row. And I can't remember what the cross street is, but it's right on the corner where the bus turns left. Have you ever had, um... Tiger ice cream? Oh uh, yeah, many times. That's orange and uh, licorice. Do you like that one? Uh, yeah, I like the licorice. Put it that way. How I'm about the like orange? It. Does the orange go with it? Oh, um, it's okay. Orange and chocolate goes together. Uh, yeah. I love orange and chocolate. I really like the licorice. Have you ever had orange and chocolate? Oh, Mixed no, I don't think so. Pralines and cream is a good one. I have 
have that one at home. Yeah, that's a caramel one. Oh, another one I want you to try. Um, the, um, what is it? Chocolate Flex with vanilla ice cream. What, what is it? It's, it's, um, Chocolate Flex. Oh, okay. The ice cream is vanilla, then you have chocolate sprinkles on top. Like chocolate pieces, it's really good. Yeah. And it's sweet, but it's not. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. Oh, do you know what? They take the 12 stop out here. It was too dangerous, right? Yeah. They took the 12 stop out, right? Oh, uh, yeah, that's the right. That's the one I stopped at last night for them. They probably didn't know that it was out because they saw a bus sign on there. Uh, yeah. Well, I think that, well, they wanted to catch me and they came out late so they didn't catch me out in front of co-op, so I think they figured that I would stop there. You're probably used to stopping there sometimes because you did, eh? Yeah. There's a big 15 bus out now. Okay. But it says Mill Rise on it when it's... Ooh. Jeez. Um, the lights. Well, there's no way to tell when it's going to change. It's so, and this is a large intersection. You've done 78 right, Chaparral. 78 right? I've done 78 right and 78 left as well. <laughs> <laughs> but you've done chaparral before, right? Oh yeah, possibly you've, a thousand times. That seventy-seven sixty-eight, you driven that bus? Yeah, I've had that one. I hope they open Anderson up again in the near future. No, no, they never will. To the best of my knowledge, they never But I mean, they might need a new Graslin because you got like 250 buses out of AG just sitting there. That's right. When's the last time you got 79.99? I cannot tell you. That's been a while. I'm the only one on right now. Isn't that something? Wow, yeah. I'm glad I could share this moment with you. I got hours of footage of your bus and stuff. Oh, that's awesome. When you access my channel, you will see it. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying to do everything now. My goodness. When you were working, it was tight. Well, 10-hour days, basically. You may as well say 10-hour days from the time you get up to the time you sit down to eat. That's like me. I'm the same as you, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> What's the mileage on this one, if I ask you? Well, it says 286,000. <laughs> 120. That's about accurate, would you say? Um, for 2005, no, it would have a lot more than that. That's well, probably... that's probably the last time when they turned it over. That's that right. was the reading, yeah, right? That's right. Yeah, exactly. It's probably got more like four or five hundred thousand. Yeah, that's right. Will they rebuild the motor again when it gets over a million kilometers? But if it's rusting a lot, then they don't bother. Right. Do you remember our um, new Flyer D40s we had 1992? We had a few of them. 
7001 from Park Plaza. Oh, he's giving them a Oh, that's me. That's Maggie. Is that Maggie? No way. That's Maggie, right? Yeah. That's Maggie, eh? Yeah. Well, I guess you'll just go, or are you gonna see her later? She probably waited for you here, right? Uh, yeah, um, well she happened to be in the stock. And she said she wanted to see me and give me something. Well, good on you, George. Yeah. You're getting as many hugs today. Yeah, that's right, yeah. I'm a hugger too, eh? I love to hug. Yeah. Oh, look at the beast in front of us. Wow. What? I don't see any kind of the geese. I don't think they know whether to leave or not because the weather isn't that cold right now. They're not flying south. Every winter they fly south. Here's a social distancing joke. You'll get this one and laugh. Oh. Uh, six feet apart is the length of three Canadian geese. Get it? Okay. They had signs up in Calgary. I thought you'd get a little humor out of that yeah. one. It sounds kind of stupid, but it's also funny at the same time. George, this is one of the smoother buses, eh? I tell ya. It really is. And some valley full of cars. Are them three twelves ready for you? The mother two twelves? They would have to be, right? Gee, it's hard to believe it's almost three o'clock. Wow, I'm glad you reminded me of it. Seems like I just started like 15 minutes ago. Uh, yeah, then no, they should be ready today, they should be ready. These mirrors, on my left and right, on the outside, when they wash the bus, one thing I guess they don't have time for, the water dries on the uh, mirror. And it, it gives not that great a visibility, they need to be um, just dry white, the, the glass. They never do that. They're getting heavy work done on them. Yeah. How many hours do the mechanics get? I believe Since they have so many buses. I think it's eight hour shifts, I believe. But 24 hours a day, they gotta have a few on. At each garage. Yeah. They must have a lot of buses going through the wash lane at, uh, for fueling and stuff at, at uh, Spring Martins and uh, Good Park. I imagine Anderson at the time had the same thing when it was open, right? Uh, yeah. When you came back on March 23rd, 2020, Anderson was still open, right? 
Were you out of Anderson then, right? Uh, yeah, that's right. But now you're out of EP. That's right. That doesn't make any sense that they would close it. Well, not this early. Like, for a change-off, right? You only have so many buses you can get out of EP, right? Yeah, just that the change-offs, they didn't want somebody standing around waiting to see if there was a change-off. Some days are pretty good, some days are pretty bad. And it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't be any good to have one person doing the change-off at Anderson. You'd probably need, like, three people, because if one person went to do a change-off, then they needed another change-off. He'd be out somewhere and have to try to get eventually get back to Anderson to do another one. No, then, but you know what I mean? You know what I mean? They can keep it open for, you know, regular bus routes and stuff. Just like VP, it would make it a lot less of a headache. Yeah. You know what's a headache, though? When you have a bus out of spring down here doing its route and it breaks down. Yeah, that's right. Then if they're doing 15, that bus has to come all the way from Spring Gardens. It could take upwards to how long would you say an hour and 45 minutes? Well, just Dick Park, getting a bus out of Dick Park out here is close to an hour. So, yeah. If not an hour and a half, depending on where you're at. That's right. Imagine how long it would take out a spring if you were all the way down here. Oh. When your bus broke down. So what if it broke down and hold it? <laughs> two hours. Yeah. Would you say two hours? Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So what do they do when they need to change off? They go and get the bus. Well, they call somebody. Yeah. And then they give them the information on the two-way radio and then they have to go pick up the bus. And I believe... And get the new one out of spring, right? Or wherever the bus is from. Well, then they have to check the bus and make sure it, it doesn't have any oil leaks or anything. Because then you don't want to give the driver another faulty bus you just got out of the grass that you just got out of the grass to replace the broken down one oh oh tell me this story He's getting spoiled today. I've given him so much talk. Yeah, well, he deserves it. Thank yeah. you. That's awesome. Yeah, you go ahead. 40 years, can you believe it? Yeah. Went so fast and just done, right? I'm going to put these back here. <laughs> George, it's crazy you worked for this long and now you're right here. Yeah, that's right. Oh, this is so nice. Hopefully you win the lotto. That's the next step. I'm working on it. I'm thinking about it now. <laughs> so anyway, 
Yes, that's it, yeah. So anyway, the second bus you had, the door was sticking open again, eh? Uh, yeah, so, this, so then I put up with that and uh, took it back to the garage. And the next day, I got the same bus that I had changed off, and they had to fix the door. Wow. I couldn't believe it. Was it out of spring, right? No, Anderson. Oh, yeah. So where are you going? I'm just coming with you for a ride. Oh, awesome! That's what I said. What do you say once around for yeah. a ride? Oh, that's great. <laughs> I, uh, thank you. Yeah, I did. Well, I had a couple things to do this morning, and and so I thought, okay, and then I got home a little too late to catch the last bus. Yeah. I thought, okay, I'll catch you at 10 to 3. Awesome. I, uh, I had planned, like, I'll get on his bus and ride around with him once. Yeah. All the supervisors were there when I took over my bus at 11.30 this morning. Oh, yeah. And the union was there. They presented me with a tattoo. And everybody was taking pictures, and my wife was there. I'm going to give him a hug oh, when nice. we say goodbye. And, um, so, uh, I figured that's the uh, right. And, uh, No, but that's what I'm planning to do. Yeah. Yo, I guess you won't get a party. You can't do that, right? Yeah, that's right. Retirement party. So tonight my wife's going to be at the station and hopefully my friend from Mary and my grandson and my brother. And they'll ride around at 6.30 on the Shaughnessy Station, 6.36 actually, for the last time to do one more trip. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So how does it feel? Perfect, George. Other 12 is on time. Yeah, there we, yeah, there we are. So, yeah, thank you for coming up and riding around. Yeah. I'm just going to get uh, not too many school kids, 20 or 25, uh, up the road, but that's it for the day. Once I get them, yeah. then that's it. From the high school there? Um, a junior, some kind of junior high, Our Lady of Peace in Melrose. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All the other schools are basically out. Pretty much right now. Can I have? Oh, yeah, yeah. You go ahead, dear. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry. Here we are. Yeah. Yeah, I know it's been good over the years. Some of the things I've seen happen, I tell you. Honestly. You couldn't write that stuff. You know what? Oh, I know. It's like, it's, yeah. I'm sure you see oh, it all. <laughs> so what? This, um, this kid got on my bus. He would, well, he would have been in his early 20s. And, uh, boy, I'll never forget that either. I was on Elbow Drive, about to go down into uh, Heritage Station. Yeah. And he gets on my bus. And I looked at his hand. And both his hands had tiny little holes. About nine tiny little holes in his hand. Oh, my God. I don't understand.